Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I want to go over the future of the iPhone displays. So this report here states that Apple is reportedly working towards mass production of thinner and brighter micro LED displays. Now, a lot of you might be unfamiliar with what micro LED is, uh, but basically think of OLED, but to the next level. So um, current like iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus, those use LCD displays. Uh, and then the iPhone 10 uses an OLED display. And then this is micro LED. So it's basically OLED, but it can be brighter, it can be thinner, and overall it's a better display. So supposedly Apple is collaborating with TSMC, who actually makes most of the chips for the iPhones, uh, and they have been working towards production of this micro LED display for the iPhone line and presumably the Apple Watch line. What's interesting is that uh, this actually was first reported in late 2015. And I actually remember when this was reported and I thought that for sure the either 2016 or 2017 model iPhones would have this. However, that did not happen, and instead we got the 2017 to have OLED, which I'm still very happy with, by the way. The iPhone 10 display looks really good, uh, but micro LED is gonna take that to a whole nother level. Now, in the meantime, it says a report claims that Apple has downsized its micro LED research and development team at its laboratory in Northern Taiwan. Then it says here, it doesn't necessarily mean that Apple is delaying it. They could have just brought all of those resources back to the United States to headquarters to work on. So uh, definitely this is something that Apple is looking towards the future for. Uh, but of course, you know how Apple works. They like to perfect things before they even put it out there uh, for most technologies that are new. So this is the same laboratory up in Taiwan that was kind of secretive and seemed to be open back in late 2015. But Apple actually acquired a micro LED display maker, LuxView, uh, in 2014. So if we kind of put, the, put that into perspective here, um, that gives them, so from 2014, let's say, let's give them the benefit of the doubt here. Let's say 2015, they started working on this. They usually take quite a few years. They're usually working four years ahead. So that would place this a micro LED screen being released sometime in 2019. So if we scroll back up here and look, that is actually when they think that uh, the use of micro LED would begin. So the 2019 iPhone, uh, they think it'll start with the Apple Watch, which is usually released in like March. They could kind of beta test it with the Apple Watch on a small scale, possibly even in 2018, uh, and then proceed in 2019 for the full fledged, you know, iPhone XXX or whatever they call it for that. Now, again, this pretty much correlates to what I've been saying is that the 2018 iPhone 10 is going to be, or whatever they call it, XS or whatever, uh, is going to be kind of an S model upgrade. And the 2019 model is going to be leaps and bounds better. It's going to be the next generation of the iPhone 10, if that makes sense. Now, one other thing I did want to clear up for those of you that watched my last video on uh, the 120 hertz display, I still think that'll happen in 2019, uh, but currently 120 hertz is not capable on OLED screens. So that explains why Apple didn't put it into this year's iPhone 10, but they have it in like the iPads and stuff. But I still think in 2019, especially if they do the micro LED displays, they'll have enough time to kind of sort that out and hopefully put the 120 hertz display on that iPhone. So that's all I got for this video, guys. These are really interesting rumors because this is really going to push displays as a whole on your phones forward. And I like to see that because obviously you look at your display most of the time when you're on your phone. So definitely a big portion of your phone experience is the display. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.